Okay, so unfortunately, uh, sounds like Stetson Bennett's season is over uh, before it even started. Um, wishing him the best, no matter what he's going through. I have no idea, but uh, it's a personal matter. He's been placed on NFI, which is non-football injury list. Um, that goes back to the beginning of the season. But Sean McVay today did say it's more likely than not Bennett would not return than it is that he would return this season. And he's doing well. Um, so what do I take from this? Well, this is unfortunate. Um, I have no idea what he's going through. I'm not even going to speculate. I just hope that he's okay. And I hope the fan base can kind of rally around him in that sense. Um, Matthew Stafford also has a, a UCL sprain. I'm going to get into that in a separate video. Just going to stick with Stetson here for a sec. Fourth round pick out of Georgia by the Rams. Um, you know, this is, uh, this is a blow. You know, right now, if Stafford can't go this week, you would be thinking coming into the season, wow, you know, if Stafford goes down, we get to see what the kid's made of. We get to see Stetson Betty in action. Unfortunately, it sounds like it's going to be Brett Rippon or for whatever reason, uh, Stafford decides to play or they let him play. Um, I'm going to have my thoughts on that. that. That's a little bit more. There's more layers to that. Um, but I just wanted to do this because I know people use my YouTube channel as a place, a one-stop shop for information. And I appreciate you that do that. Um, so I'm just passing this along that Stetson, because this is probably one of the most asked questions in all of my live streams, <clears throat> comment section on any video. I have DMs galore asking me what's going on with Stetson. He's not going to return. So, um, I don't know what the future is. I don't know what it means for 2024. I don't have any information at this juncture on that, but I just wanted to pass along that the Rams rookie quarterback in what has been an awesome draft class so far, unfortunately is not going to be able to contribute uh, like everyone else. He is going to uh, stay on NFI and he will miss the 2023 season. But again, he is doing well uh, according to Sean McVay. So, um, you know, prayers go out to him, whatever he's going through is personal matter. And, uh, we move that's, it's that simple. It's an X man up league, but you still want to have some humility for the player. You still want to have some compassion and just understand that regardless of what he's going through, there should be no judgment here. Um, he is a rookie. Uh, there have been a lot of you know, different things that have happened over the course of the NFL's history with guys not getting a chance to ever play in this league. So, um, you know, I, I think right now we just have to be cognizant of that. And, uh, yeah, um, I think it's separate from what I was saying. I, I like that we finally got an update because it's been constantly like, Hey, what's going on with Stetson? And there's no word, just he's doing well. So now we know. Um, but really it goes back to what I was saying. It's not blaming Stetson. It's blaming the fact the Rams simply haven't prepared well enough, in my opinion, for, you know, a guy who, let's be honest here, as great as Matthew Stafford is, he's had 30 different injuries in his career, maybe, maybe more. I mean, his injury history looks like the Declaration of Independence. That's what it looks like. Don't believe me, look it up. DraftSharks.com. But, um, yeah, it just, I, I don't know how you don't prepare for this. I don't know how you're okay with Brett Rippon as the backup. Um your team is only as good as your backup quarterback. And if you don't have a good backup quarterback, I don't know. And I think the Rams did potentially have a good backup in Stetson Bennett. I was excited to see him play this year, uh, if need be. And unfortunately, we're not going to get that opportunity. So wishing him all the best, wishing his family all the best, whatever he's going through. I hope he gets through it. A OK. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. If you like this, be sure to like, uh, like, subscribe and comment. And uh, if you don't have anything to comment, just drop your favorite emoji engagement, right? Um, but that'll, that'll do it for this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And that one will be about Stafford's UCL tear. Or, excuse me, UCL sprain. I'll see you in the next one. Later, folks. You can start playing Pick'em or Weekly Fantasy for any sport today, Jake. Users will receive a 100% deposit match up to $100 if they use promo code OTE at sign up. Start playing Pick'em in weekly fantasy football today with Underdog Fantasy. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? 
Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.